Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali. Today I am filming a Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram stories, so let's get started. If you had to choose between living in LA or New York, which one would you choose? I would say 100% LA because my mom's side of the family lives in Irvine, California, and some live in like Rancho Cucamonga area, so I feel like LA would be so fun just to be around my whole family. Me and my sister definitely get FOMO when they're all together and we can't be there because, you know, we live across the country. So yes, definitely LA and I think there would be a lot more opportunity there. Who is your style inspiration? I don't really have like a style. I would say I get my style inspiration from literally every other college girl. I kind of just like copy the trends. It's not like one specific blogger or celebrity because I feel like I'm not on that level of like work clothes or just like super professional clothes. So right now I'm just kind of basing my style off what everyone else wears here at UCF and other colleges too. Where do you see yourself in five years? So in five years, I'll probably be 27 or 26. Um, hopefully I'll have like a really great job and 100% I want to be living with my boyfriend. Well, I better be living with my boyfriend by then. Um, we're trying to save up and you know get a house so hopefully that plan goes through I really hope by that age I'll be settled into the industry I want to be in and hopefully maybe even owning like my own company of some sort I don't really know exactly what I want to do but I definitely know that I want to own my own business someday ever thought about changing majors or thought college was too stressful I'll be completely honest with you guys I feel like I've never thought that college was too stressful because my major isn't one of those that is super stressful and I took a lot of online classes so I mean if you don't really know good time management skills then I feel like it would be stressful but I feel like I'm pretty good with that and I'm able to plan out my day so that I get my shit done and I actually only changed my major once so it was from electronic journalism to radio television and after that I didn't really care to change my major like obviously I'm more into like social media and like add PR right now but I feel like a major doesn't really define your career it's definitely the experience that helps you get a career so I feel like I'll be fine in that aspect how did your sorority sisters react about you being a youtuber <laughs> I love it <laughs> wait do you want my honest opinion yeah sure <laughs> my roommates yeah, in the room me. so Sonali and I both of our last names starts with P okay. so I remember Sonali before we even both joined Katie oh for real yeah I, I remember you you literally would line up like a couple people down for you like I right. remember this like really oh, beautiful funny. like Indian girl oh, yeah. I had no idea that she had a YouTube or anything yeah and then I come into Katie and I was like oh crap like this girl is literally in the same story as me yeah still like never knew that she was in the yeah. story and like honestly like I feel like we you were probably one of my first friends coming in Katie yeah. for sure yeah and you know me I did not like pictures at first I know I hated them yeah. I hated like attention being honest and yeah. like Sonali was like so confident like, she oh. always like she literally ran home on bid day with a damn Go uh, GoPro, GoPro on her head, head. like I know. she did give no fucks and I was like wow like I don't know how this girl gives no fucks because like I'm so embarrassed sometimes That's like funny. even just like taking selfies but like I think like now now, like looking back like yeah Sonali has made me like love photos like ask her like I I'm the first person to be like Sonali you want to take a photo I so I don't know I just think it's like she like completely changed my perspective on like photos and like YouTube and like yeah. vlogging and like when yeah. Sonali is vlogging I'm like I don't care if I look like trash I'm like it's hi like, a, like yeah, you know it's like, like your real like life like, it's real life it's yeah. like memories like you don't always have to be looking good but it's like memories that you yeah have to and good. like I don't know like I'm literally sitting here in bed and she's like so like, are you sure you don't want me to film later I go no like I really film now <laughs> I feel okay. like so many of my sisters are so supportive of mm -hmm. me and like it's crazy to think that because in high school it was bad like people and obviously it has changed because YouTube has been more of a thing while I'm in college and like in high school people thought it was weird mm -hmm. um but yeah like Tiffany said I literally ran home with a GoPro <laughs> attached to my head on bid day so just just think that through really quick and then actually my car got full on my GoPro <laughs> So I was like, uh, heck no. So I yeah. grabbed out my vlogging camera and just ran with my camera. I think also too, like, 
at least for probably high school, I think girls are still so very insecure. Yeah. So they take that anything that they can to, whether it like make fun of someone else yeah. or, you know, just to be a bully to someone else. But yeah. I really think when you come to college and when you like join a sorority, at least for ours, at least like when someone like puts their hundred percent in something, like we think that's cool. Like, yeah. We support it. We're not going to be here to knock them down. Yeah, they're that's passionate true. about it. That's true. I couldn't ask for a more supportive group of girls to be behind me and be be by my side. And honestly, I don't really know like when I told everyone. I feel like they just started finding out, you know, because I would like obviously post about it on my Instagram and like stuff. Yeah, like that, I don't so. think it was like a oh hi Big I'm thing. snarly like yeah. I'm so gnarly on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> like I think it was just like a gradual thing. Right. Like I think the thing with Sonali is that she wasn't like I think you were embarrassed at first yeah, because I mean, you weren't because you weren't sure how girls were gonna react because right. of high school. Yeah. But like soon later like soon after like people were like oh like that's pretty cool like, yeah you know like she does videos for her sorority too it's yeah. not just about her yeah it was definitely a different reaction from high school i'm applying to ucf for fall 19 and wanted to ask how is that out of school life i think that's what she said i think she's talking about nightlife and we only have three bars here we have lib pub and stag i feel like other schools have like strips of bars but I kind of like it that we only have three so we don't have to like switch around to find our friends or like go chasing after them. Um, you do have to pay cover at the bars so you know other schools might not have to do that but the drinks are like super super cheap and I know when I move back to Georgia I'm gonna be like uh can I get like the lib special because literally it's super cheap and like especially when I go out to a restaurant I'm like Oh my god, like $10 for, you know, an alcoholic drink, that's insane because we get it for so cheap. I don't really go out that often anymore just because I feel like the older you get, the more you go downtown or just like the less you go out, kind of. I hope that helped and answered your question. Is it weird filming in public or around your friends? I also vlog and I'm trying to get used to it. At first when I joined Katie, like not everyone knew I did the whole YouTube thing, so... I would kind of just be like, oh, do you want to be in my vlog? And I guess maybe that's how they found out. Currently, I do not have any shame of vlogging my friends or, you know, just vlogging the moments that we have together because I think it's fun to have those memories and I definitely, like, appreciate it 100% when I can go back and look at all of our memories from, like, freshman year. It's super cool. I definitely get embarrassed when I'm holding this big camera out in front of me and just talking to myself on camera, um, but it definitely helps when you're with people. And I also sometimes just use my iPhone if I'm too embarrassed to vlog in public and I still need to get content. It's just like a little less embarrassing than a big camera. So maybe try vlogging on your iPhone when out in public. What are your post-grad plans? So this is a question I obviously get a lot because I'm a senior right now. Um, and I have no idea what I'm going to do, to be honest. And all I know is that I want to move back to Georgia. Um, I'll probably live at my dad's house for a year or two just to try to save up money and hopefully then buy a house with my boyfriend. Um, Career-wise, I literally have no clue what I want to do, but I feel like I want to do something with creating content, whether it's videography or, I don't know, just doing social media for a company, anything like that really. How long do you think you'll be doing YouTube? I don't really see an end to it just yet, so I'm not really sure how long I'll be doing it, but, but I'm super excited to like bring you guys along through my adulting journey and also with Ryan like and his adulting journey because I'll probably be vlogging with him next year a lot. Like I said, I don't really see an end to this because I feel like these vlogs are just like home videos and I literally love to watch home videos so if I can keep vlogging and make them creative and just put my passion into it I think that's really cool and hopefully I'll never stop. How did you start blogging slash making videos etc? So I started on YouTube first and my dad had a Nikon and I literally just pulled it out one day after watching a Bethany Moda video and I was like girl I can do this too. I love cameras. I love filming and editing stuff, so I just whipped it out, filmed a hair tutorial. I went to edit it and put it up that day, um, and that's just kind of how it all started. Obviously, I wasn't consistent for the first year or so because, I don't know, it's just kind of weird when you get started. You don't really know how often you should be putting out content, especially because I probably got like one view on every video. But then once I started growing my following on my YouTube channel, I decided to make a blog because I realized that there's people that love to read and look at 
pictures and then there's people that like to watch vlogs and videos and actually hear someone speak to them. So I definitely wanted to do both platforms, especially because I had so many pictures to share, whether it be outfits or event recaps or traveling. So I wanted a place to put all of that and share my experiences. Someone asked, is it weird to come say hi in public? And 100% not at all. I love when people come say hi to me and tell me that they watch my videos because it makes me so happy. And it's also really cool for me to see where all my followers live, you know? So I met a girl at USF when I went to film in Tampa. And then I always meet people on game days here at UCF and sometimes I even meet people back in Georgia. It's just really cool to see the actual faces of the people that watch my videos. What made you get into photography? So like I said, my dad had a Nikon when I was in, I think it was like 8th grade or something. Um, and I played around with that a lot and even in like 5th grade I had like a little digital camera and I feel like every other year I would kind of get like an upgraded little point and shoot camera because I've always loved to take pictures whether it be of just me and my friends or just like landscape or anything like that it was never super like professional and I never knew what I was doing when I was you know younger but I will say it takes years of practicing and kind of like knowing what you want I have gone through so many lenses just because I'm learning what angles I like. Do I like a wide angle? Do I like a tight shot? Do I like a blurry background? Do I like a less blurry background? So all these lenses do different things and you also just have to learn to manipulate the photos. I'm pretty sure the first time I started to get into it was when I did senior pictures in high school and then when I got to college I started taking pictures for my sorority and then I started doing grad pictures for college and yeah now I just do like anything that comes in my way, I guess. When was the last time you visited India? I don't know, so I'm gonna check my pictures. <laughs> I know it always has like dates on them and stuff. The last time I visited India was in 2014. I feel like it didn't seem like that long ago, but yeah, so it's been four years. What did you ask for when you got your hair cut? So if you guys haven't seen my recent vlog, I chopped my hair. Um, this is my hair and it used to be super super long like down to my butt crack and I cut a lot off. I think it was like six or more inches and I feel like I have never been this short because I feel like I always get it like right at my boob but it's a little bit above my boob but I'm obsessed with this length like I never thought I'd see this day um, but when I went in there I feel like I just said you know take a few inches off and then when she showed me I was like okay let's go shorter like I felt so bold that day I don't know why but I'm glad I did and then I just asked for some long layers because the last time I went in I got so many layers and I was just kind of over them especially when I wanted to style my hair and put my hair up and even curl it it's just kind of annoying to curl layers I went to Floyd's here at UCF if you guys were wondering how do you balance everything you're doing in college relationship, Greek life, internship, and class, and how do you maintain a successful relationship during college? So as you guys probably know, my boyfriend goes to UGA and we do long distance. So it is tough at some times because, you know, you see all these couples here and you want your boyfriend to just grab a bite to eat with you or just see a movie. But honestly, I feel like it was probably the best thing to go to different colleges because we were both able to grow while still having each other. Time management is a skill that you can always improve on and every day I'm getting better and better at it. And I think that the most helpful thing is just planning your day out. So if you need to do homework, you need to make a time to do homework. If you need to go to the gym, then you need to make a time to go to the gym. And I feel like that really helps me balance everything because I can do my sorority stuff in the evening and then study in the middle of the day if I need to, edit my videos, and go to class. Well, also I only have one class because I'm pretty much almost done and graduated, so I only have one class and an internship. And then next year I'm going to take two online classes because they're just like filler classes to meet all my hours to be able to graduate. Um, so right now, I don't really have it that bad, but when I was taking a full schedule, I cherished my planner and my planner apps. So that's all of the questions I have for today's Q&A. If you guys have any more questions, I'd be happy to answer them in the comments down below. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!